What's going on people? Welcome back to AFTV. Now look, we thought we'd do another draft style video after the success of the last one with the, in the Premier League, but we thought we'd now look at the five other leagues and we're going to discuss some players and pick one from Serie A, the Bundesliga, La Liga, Ligue 1 and Premier Liga. Liga. I got there. Nearly really? smashed <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I was thinking he's on a no, roll. I knew once he got to that one, yeah, it was going to be yeah. deep. You knew, that's why I saved it till last, you lot knew. But I'm joined by Robbie James the Turkish. <laughs> Um, there's not really much else more to say. How's everyone? Alright, we're gonna get into this one. Yep. Yeah, everyone ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, this was a challenge. Yeah, this was tough. I mean S some was. Last, yeah, last one was, but this one Being realistic about it makes it a challenge. Exactly. I right. think we can all pick a star from each league <laughs> yeah. and say we want him, but yeah. being realistic that about Mbappe's it. Mbappe's alright. We'll, yeah. we'll have him. <laughs> He'd probably start. Being yeah. realistic is yeah. maybe not league one, league two. <laughs> uh, that might be the next draft video. <laughs> Championship. <laughs> Alright, well let's, let's let's also make that clear as well, guys. We're not we're not going to probably be discussing too much about the, the people that aren't going to really realistically come to Arsenal, like the Mbappe's and Messi's. We're going to do some realistic um, decisions and, and players put forward that will fit in. So let's let's get straight into it. We're going to start. We're going to do alph alphabet order like I did before, um, but that means that league is Bundesliga is the first one to start with. So. We'll start with James. We'll go with you. We'll go around from the, from the um, left side. Checks his notes. Um, so I'm just checking my notes. As well. <laughs> yeah, Bundesliga. You give us, give us two or three, two or three names. What so we looked at two or three. But I'll put one forward. Is Nabri um, realistic first? Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. He is. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I think he is, and obviously we're all taking him. If it probably ends the discussion there. But I thought I'd just look at others. Big fan of Musa Diaby at Leverkusen. Mm -hmm. Can play on either side. Great I wonder, player. I've watched him enough to know if he's a little too similar to Saka. Both left-footed, can play right and left. Um, but very good player, I like him a lot. Quick um, as well. Light. Yeah. But he Fl plays more off the left, though. Yes, that's true. Which is a good thing. Uh, Florian Wirtz, have I pronounced that right? Another mm -hmm. good player. Um, I like him, adds that creativity in midfield. But the one I want, we were linked to them for ages, Dominic Z Zabozlai. I nearly, I nearly did a Cecil there. <laughs> Zabozlai, he's got that kind of... He's, he's a creative midfielder, but I think he stands at like six foot, six foot one. He's still got a bit of a presence. He's yep. good on the ball. He gets goals. He drives into midfield. And like the last one, I keep thinking, what do Arsenal need? And a big thing for me is that end product in the final third. I love Odegaard, but he's kind of almost, he's like the past before the past. Do you know what I mean? Whereas for me, Zabozza is the one who gets on the end of things. And I like him a lot. That's we, my, we, that's we my missed out on him when he, when he made yep. the move over there. Yep. It's been really good, even if he's a source well. before, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 internationally, he's, he's been England on fire the other day. Yeah, the other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's been for fire Hungary. Yeah, internationally, so yeah, it's a good, it's a good. He's got a free kick on him as well. Yeah, yeah. it's a good shout, Turkish. You got two, you got a couple of names, or yeah, I mean, Diaby was one of them. I'm looking at positions we need, yes, mm. and the, we need attacking players. And, and I know we're being linked to Rafinha and Bowen, and I know, I know depth is a thing, but at the end of the day, I want starting 11. And I think there's more opportunity on the left. I know Martinelli's come in and sure. Martinelli's done well, but he needs to do more as well. Mm -hmm. And I think competition will bring that. And maybe Martinelli goes centrally at some point anyway. So Diaby was up there for me, but I've been banging on about Schick since it's January. Just, yeah. mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a shame he signed a new contract recently towards the end of last season mm -hmm. because that probably makes it unrealistic. But even with that contract, realistically, if a team like Arsenal, with the money we have and the money this league has, I think it makes it realistic. You look at the profile of striker he is, you look at his Euros last year, he's not scared to, to, to have a goal. He scored from near the halfway line. Yeah, yeah, Euros. great goal. What a goal. He's a target man. He, he, he's, his close control is good enough, you mm -hmm. know? And, and I think that's exactly the type of profile striker we need if Jesus is coming through the door. Imagine you had a Jesus, a Schick, and then cool, Eddie can be third. Yeah, but Schick's a goal scorer. Second, in, he got second most yeah, goals in the league. Lewandowski, well, yeah, yeah man, and by uh, a Leverkusen with less games. That's, bro, I mean, that's a top shout. I can't that's that that was, Mine's up there as well. I had Schick in, in my list as well. Um, good shout there, Turkish, to be fair. I also want to throw in Karim Adeyemi. I know probably none of you are going to be on that wave. Project Youth, young player again. <laughs> You know, future. just went to Dortmund though. That's he the did. thing. He did. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. He did. Um, he's on one of my lists as well, and obviously I had Nkunku as well. But I like Patrick Schick. They're quoting Nkunku. 100 million Nkunku. for Nkunku. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Do you remember when Emery wanted him? Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. remember we yeah. nearly got him on loan from PSG? Yeah. At that point, I saw him as more of a box to box midfielder. Suddenly, he's this goal scorer. He's done the opposite mm. to Jalinton. Like mm, a second enough. striker, but that's perfect for Arteta, that type of player that can come mm. in and then also mm. latch onto the end of things. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say Nkunku, but I think he's. Uh, because you said realistic, Gnabry obviously to me I feel that is realistic. Yeah, yeah. I feel it was a, I feel it would be a deal that if it did get done, probably won't. But if it did get done, right, it'd be one of those ones that would go down to the wire, in a window because you know that you'd want the price 
to come down because he's only got a year left. But I don't think it's beyond. Mm. And I'm going to go for Project Youth as well. Right? Yay, future album. Come Again, on. this future would be expensive. Album. You may say this is unrealistic, yeah? But if we're operating like a big club, it shouldn't be. We lost out on Bissouma, right? Which I'm still pissed <laughs> off about. So we bring in Drew Bellingham. Drew Bellingham would be perfect for Arsenal's midfield. Drew Bellingham and Partey in there. I'm still with like having a good base to my team, strengthening that midfield, but also someone who can drive forward, get forward young. I think one of the best sort of box to box stroke deep line midfielders in European football already. Yeah, good shout. Mm. And he's only what, 19, 20, 18, over, 18 oh, 19? Yeah, 19, over Masuala. Mad. So yeah, Masuala over him as well. Would you have him? Is he better? I think yeah, he's a different player. It's true, Bellingham, Sorry, he's but... English as well. Unrealistic, though. It feels like he's mm. destined yeah. for. I, think I don't want to say bigger things. Yeah, we should be out there, his next move is a big move. He's yeah, probably massive. destined for Liverpool. You know, one of them teams in the Champions League. But if Arsenal are acting like how we're supposed to act, we're supposed to be in talking to players like that to try and you know, yep. tempting them. When you when you don't have Champions League football, you're still supposed to have the money. So it wouldn't be beyond Man United, for instance, to get a Jude Billion, would it? No. no. So yeah, why is it beyond point. us? Yeah, it's a good point. It's because even with the way Man United are, there's still more hope that that club can turn it around. I think we've asked That's only because of the way in which their owners act. Yeah, yeah exactly. But to me, exactly. Jude Bellingham should not be an unrealistic... Maybe this season, I guess. But, you know, it, it shouldn't be an unrealistic yeah. sign. No, I, I get it. I, it yeah. Probably to me, it's more unrealistic than Nabry, but neither should mm. be because we are Arsenal. But where we are... Yeah. And where they are, it makes it a bit like, ugh, would they would they take that risk? Yeah, mm. yeah. I think for us, so for Nabri over Jude Bellingham as well. I think Nabri more realistic, but we should be thinking like that with Jude Bellingham. But it's it's probably unrealistic. So uh, we got pick one. Yeah, we got to pick, pick one. We we'll pick one. I like Patrick Schick. I can't lie. I'll go Gnabry. I'll go Gnabry because oh. I think it is just about in reach. Need goal. <laughs> doable. Is, do you think it's in reach because there hasn't been rumours to or strong links to other clubs yet? Yeah, that's one reason. Because a lot of the other clubs are looking at the fee with a player that one year left, right? And I think the fact that he was at Arsenal before and that, and I think if they put a good project in front of him, he's the type of player who'd come. Oh, we yeah. said but, it, we, you said it on the news, you can sell us dreams, but to sell players' dreams is another thing. Exactly. Yeah. They Do you know what it is? I think it's because Arsenal needs to dress a few positions and he'll want a high wage, blah, blah. But if it was purely... Arsenal have the money, Gnabry, do you want to come? I think I think that could be done. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Without 70 million pounds on Pepe, yeah. why couldn't we get somebody like him? Ah, without strong links to other clubs, I'll agree with Gnabry. Without strong links to other clubs with a year left and with his rejecting the last contract, I think Arsenal have a chance. Yeah. Right. But, you know, by the time this video comes, let's say <laughs> let's say Real Madrid show some real interest, then yeah. we're going to look like fools because it becomes a lot more unrealistic when you're competing with those teams. Probably but I'll, I'll go... All that, all, yeah, well, already, we, yeah, there's an enough. argument there already. But Gnabry, I'll yeah. go with Gnabry because that yeah. is the one that I'd love. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll agree on, on Navri then. All right, so I'm happy happen. with that. I actually want to see that sudden no, be done. Ready. I'd love to see that happen this summer. Arsenal, That'd be massive. Please, come on, man. That will be um, as big as, well, it won't be as big as Ozil, but it'll be, it'll be big. In terms of football and what the fans think it's going to do on the pitch, it'll be as big as the Ozil signing. Mm. Would it be a distraction for you? As in, would it be. A distraction? As in, do you mean. It's a welcome distraction for me because I. It, you want it. That was the last time I was truly gassed up by this club when we signed Ozil. Okay, wow. Well. Well, there it's you been go. very few times on this ownership, but when they signed Ozil, it was that right? Yeah. Plus, me and Turkish helped, but, you yeah. know, it right, didn't work enough. out in the end. I'd like Nabri. Well, we'll see what happens anyway. Let's go into the next alphabetically ordered league. That is La Liga. Turkish, you're up. Um, you're up to start on a few names from La Liga. We were saying this one was now, tough. Yeah, this one, this became, one is you know, tough for me, you know. I can't just, lie. Um, because when you look realistically, are we going to buy top players from Real Madrid, Barcelona? And even when I go down to Atletico Madrid and like the Felixes and, yeah. and the Rodrigo de Pauls, unrealistic. Mm. So we have to look below those three. And who, who's below those three? It's not like the Villarreal, the Sevillas, yeah. the Sociedads and so on. Um, but Asensio has been linked. And I haven't seen much of him recently. I know he's in and out of the team at Real, um, but he has been linked to us. He's been linked to United. There was a time when he was meant to be the next big thing. He was meant to be the next Some, best some of the goals he scored at a young age Quality. in Madrid, you're like, this guy's going to the top. He's Quality. doable. And, he, and, mm. he's still, and he's still a good player. Mm. It's just Very that it doesn't good. seem like with Odegaard, similar, he just didn't fit mm. their plans. 
26 years old, yeah. So that would have been one of yours as well. The front, I think. front three, yeah. Great option. There's a left winger at Real Sociedad. Mikel, isn't his first uh, name? Oyathabal. Oyathabal. I was, I was <laughs> hoping someone would help me with this thing because I was looking at it. Like, I saw a Y, I saw an R, I saw a Z. Was it, there was I thought, a I'm going to assess all this yeah, name yeah, up yeah. right now. <laughs> Mikel Monroe. All right, we'll um, but yeah, yeah Oyathabal. Oyathabal. He plays yeah. for Spain as well. Left winger. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's left footed or yeah, right. Yeah, he is, yeah. He's left footed, so he's more. When you have Saka on the right cutting in, ideally for me, I'd like the other wing to have a winger that goes down the line rather than cut in. But, yep. yeah, I'm not Arteta, but namesake, Mikel. And there's another one associated that as well, another Mikel Marino, the uh, centre yeah. mid. Former Newcastle midfielder. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's, kind of, he's caused some waves. And like I said, the level we're at, that's kind of the level we're going to have to look at. I think he's mm. 24, 25 years of age. He's broken into the Spain side here and there. He's good, you know, in terms of progressing, progressive passes. He's one of the top five in La Liga. Yeah. I'd, but if I'm going to pick one, it might be... Say the oh, name again? Oyathaba. That's it. It might be him. Just ahead of Asensio because yeah. he's in f- full flow at the moment. Whereas Asensio, it looks like there's been some doubts. Will he be able to come back? He's a good player. I like him. But I'll go with Oyathaba. Mm. Nice. Mm. Right, um, Who's that? Go on, go on, Rob. Go on, go on. Go on. I went up. What do you say, Asensio? I think Asensio. Yeah, I, I, I call him Asensio. I say Asensio, but I, I think Asensio is realistic. He's in the last year of his contract. Um, definitely doable. Wants to stay at Real Madrid, mm. but Real Madrid want the money. Odegaard wanted to stay. Right, so, yeah, I, 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 and, and we've done it with all the guards come and all the guards got on. Well, I think Asensio would be a fantastic signing. Mm. That's the sort of player that if he's got on a long-term contract, is 60, 70 million. Right, even though he doesn't play week in, week out, but that's no, that's no shame when you're playing for Real Madrid and the players they got. So, mm-hmm. I think that'd be a great signing for us. I think, don't discount that. That is a possibility, but again, it's going to be up to him what he wants to do. The other one, I, I like Yao Felix, man, as well. Yeah, right, was, but was linked to him though, wasn't it? We were linked to him. There was rumours one dreams, time, yeah, but like I just him. can't see it. Like you said, why would he leave Champions League team to come and play? Mm. In not in the Champions League. Like Nabri in Bundesliga, yeah, but, that is my option yeah. in that league. Usman Dembele as well, remember, you know what I mean? That yeah, was yeah. my one. Eh? Available whoa, whoa, on a free. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take him. Um, <laughs> again, probably going to want to play in the Champions League and that. Yeah. Chelsea link with him, but, but he's, 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 he's still a quality up. player. I think Dembe- Dembe- no, his contract's up. Yeah, so Dembe- his contract's I think, up. I think Dembele is... I know. So it's a free transfer. Yeah. It would just be the wages, you know what I mean? So, um, Asensio, I think I'd go for. Okay, mine's, mine's, mine was going to be Dembele um, for a lot of the points that Robbie kind of said, you know, good right winger. Uh, right winger, I think he's someone that would fit into Arsenal, give Saka a bit of a break, you know. Um, still young. I know you might say it's unrealistic because he's come from, from Barca, but um, yeah, man, him, Thomas Lamar from Atletico Madrid as well. No. I just, yeah. Oh, Whoa, no, nope. no one's on that? I'm yeah. near that one. Remember, he's oh. going to buy him for 90 million pounds. Yeah. Remember last, <laughs> yeah. last day of the week? Yeah, what, so not, no, he's going to be the biggest panic buy in history. And he's done nothing since he's been at Athletic Club. Did we reject 70 nothing. million from Man City only to swap him for Mkhitaryan six months later, Sanchez? And yeah, that because yeah. we were trying yeah. to sign mm. Lamar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a shower no, no, that was. No, 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 my last one was obviously, this is just half for in the Edda Militao. I'd like to see him alongside <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> this guy wants to come with his phone. You're already here. Yeah. <laughs> never going to happen. But I have to, I have to give him a mention. Uh, oh. I'd love to see him alongside Gabriel. I really would. But yeah, I think I think for me, Usman Dembele is my my number one choice from from La Liga. Still, I guess I could say it's unrealistic, but mm. I think he'll be he'll be a good signing. Like you said, he's, he's available. Mm. So we've all gone for something different so far. Yeah, I'm gonna throw another one in there. Um, kind of only really heard of him the last sort of year or two, but Carlos Soler, kind of 23 year old, midfielder. sort of a box to box, slightly creative, yeah, midfielder from Valencia. Mm. But he's got a lot of goals from. I think he's got 10 league goals from. He's not. He's not like a number ten or a create. He's. He's. Joey's compar- This people who've watched him more will tell me if this is wild. But I think he's more like Gundogan in that he can create. But he's got a lot of energy. He can drive with the ball. Um, obviously gets goals. Um, yeah, I don't watch him week in week out. Where's uh, Valencia. Valencia. But the bits Cochran. I've seen. Francis Cock. <laughs> listen, Cockland's my guy. Okay, uh, he's welcome back anytime. Um, but yeah, otherwise, again, looking around the league. I'll, I'm struggling to see that obvious fit that we should definitely get. I mean, 
Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. You know, we were mentioning Sociedad players, we didn't even get to him. But no, it's not. I was just, even talking about him this year. Yeah. Isn't no. it funny how things change in six yeah. months? And Nunes that's in that time. Eddie. Yeah. I remember when he, I remember when people, <laughs> yeah, I think so. people were talking about oh, him, no. 70 million, and I was going, no, not for me. Mm. 74, yeah, 70, 75. Sorry, million, I say, no, oh no, because no he's way. played a whole season yeah, and yeah, Eddie's yeah. come in the that's, last seven yeah. games. So that's, but there we go. Yeah, Carlos, I'm, I'm, you could tell I'm very fixated, as Robbie knows from that new show we did there. I'm very fixated <laughs> on these goals from midfield, and yeah. that's why the Zaboslas and the Solers are standing out to me. But yeah. yeah, identifying the weaknesses mm. of our side. Should we pick one? It's the difficult There's one. There's no one that I'm like, like yeah, La Liga, La Liga was the hardest one. It, was yeah. it shows tough. how it's far tough. that league's kind of fallen off as well. Should we put it to the comments? Put a sense here. No, them Asensio, the thing with Asensio, the thing with Asensio, I I have been enjoying Arsenal getting players who are making the step up to Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying yeah, there's. We need some. I know Odegaard man. came down from Madrid, but he wasn't really playing there, was he? He was playing more Sociedad and mm. was he at Vitesse? Anyway, I don't know. I I like players that are doing really well where they are and they make the step Project up. Project Youth as well. You're just aligning with that, really. Not that's even what, that's, necessarily. That's what's aligning yeah. young players making their names for themselves um, forward. So yeah, what yes, is there anyone yeah. there that we're like, yeah, this guy Project is Youth is very last year. Now I want some players that are going to come in and make immediate impact of top quality. I think Asensio is that, and he's still young actually, but prime young. Should we give him Asensio? Should we let him? No, whoa, 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 whoa. we're not giving. Away. I never we'll, we'll, we'll well. We can put it to the comments for the La Liga. Who All we right. missed out? Yeah, for the, yeah, I think the comments decided. Because La Liga was a, was a, tricky a tough one. one. It is a tricky one. There's, a yeah, one. yeah. All right, cool. Next one, League on. I'm starting. This is a player that. I wanted when the rumours and was linked to him and whatnot. Big fan of him. Uh, plays for Lille. Jonathan David for me. Um, don't know. No one's ever said anything. All right, very quiet. No, no, um, it's good. I like him. Striker. Good. We need goals. Um, he's not the main. You might be saying he's not the main. He's not be the main guy. But if we're looking at realistic Arsenal signing, I think he's perfect. Supports Arsenal as well. I like players that you know support the club and will work hard for the club. And also, 22 years old. Uh, this is where it's going to get the comments going to laugh. Thierry re arrived at 22 as well, made his name. Still, you know, he can make his name like Jonathan David here at Arsenal. It's a big, big reach, but I'm taking it. Jonathan David, for me, is the guy I would, um, I want to put forward. I've got some other names, I like Guiri as well from Nice. Good player. That's Young. on my list. Um, yeah. I've, I've liked, some I of these like players, him. people, if they know, I've been mentioning some of these names. Adi Emmys, the Guiris, the Jonathan Davids. I've been not saying these names for a while, so... Again, it falls into Project Youth, but I think they've got a lot of talent and would thrive in this Arsenal side. But, you you know. like young athletic strikers, you yeah. know, who, that modern forward that can play out on the wing if needed, can get beyond the defender. It's not just these one-dimensional right. players. Um, and that's what, I'm just noticing that in yours. That's my pattern. That's my pattern. I want someone that can score goals and bring in other players as well, which, sure. yeah, so that's mine. Who have you got, Robbie? Who have you got? I think I had Jonathan David down on mine. Yeah. I've got another player from Lille. Renato Sanchez. Yeah. Oh, it's another one. Yeah. Of my yes. Yes. Renato Sanchez. With again, with our midfield. You know me. I'm still on this strength in midfield, but players that can drive on. Still yeah, think we lack that. More mobile than Xhaka. <laughs> um, That's not. You know, I think you know a ball carrier who can pick the ball up deep and drive, but also a very strong arm um, player who can put a tackle in and stuff like that. I like Renato Sanchez. He could be on Milan, AC, AC Milan. AC Milan, yeah. But he would have been a good side. He was gettable. Yeah, he's been gettable. Yeah, you guys, you guys have said my realistic one. So I, I back and support them from Geary to uh, Renato Sanchez. My slightly unrealistic, <laughs> it's pretty unrealistic, um, Nuno Mendes, the PSG left back. Just because I feel like they're this kind of team of kind of Galacticos. And he just goes under the radar, and he's a top yeah, he's young kind of left a main back. Player for he's on loan. He's on loan. He's he's he's, he's yeah, he's a yeah, main he's, player for them, though. I don't think. Oh, sorry, sorry. He's yeah, yeah. It's, okay, listen, yeah, it's yeah, unrealistic, yeah. but yeah. I just I don't he's know. Quality. You see these quality players that they're not talked about, like the Mbappe's or whatever, yeah, well. whatever. It's not like that Paqueta as well. Leon, he's another good player as well. Yeah, he was. He's on my list. I like him as well. I think at this point I'll scrape him for a left back because I know that is a that is a problem position, but. Yeah, Paqueta, another top player. Is, is Hussein Awar completely done? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the quality. What about that kid at Marseille? Mar um, what's his name? Guendouzi? <laughs> oh, sorry, we had him already here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take him. That's, that's the thing. I'll take him. Lacazette? You should put in there, though. Nah, I won't take him. Lacazette. Nah, if we get him in on loan, him and Eddie for the season, <laughs> yeah. it should be enough. Yeah, cool. <laughs> He's giving me that look. Hush up. 
<laughs> go on, here you go. Um, all my names have been mentioned. I put three names down, David, yeah, Gori, and Paqueta. Paqueta. Yeah, that's, that's my three names right in front of me I as well. I think Paqueta's the, 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 like Paqueta. the talent out of the three. He's, he's, he's the one that intrigued me the most. But because we need a striker, I lean more to Gori. I think he gives a bit of both. And I think yeah. that's what Arteta, I think that's what modern day football wants. I think David's got about 16 league goals or 15. 15. 15 yeah. Whereas Gori's got like 11 goals, nine assists. Or, right. But what's 11 more, assists, 9 goals, something along those lines. What's more realistic though? Paqueta as well, Brazilian link there, you know, you know, you know Edu and that. It's he's like, on the he's on the verge of a big club coming in for him as well. So mm. like I said, we can say him, but tomorrow it could all change. Whereas Gori and David, at this moment in time, it doesn't look like the, the, the clubs that yeah. we need to fight against for them are... Did, you know, did Paqueta come from AC Milan like two years ago when we wanted our war? I think he went, did he go, I think he went AC Milan... To Leon, and that you know he, he's been like, he's, was going, he's been playing in you know Quality. top divisions in Europe, and he's still very young. Yeah, he's a, yeah. So yeah, it, in an ideal world, maybe him, but we're not in an ideal world. So I need a striker, Gori, for me. Yeah, I like Gori as well. Okay. I, think, I think yeah, I like Gori. Jonathan, David, or, I, I'll be happy with either of them. So we, yeah. We've got a lot of the same names, people. So this one shouldn't be so difficult. I had Do you David, say on David? My list. I had David, I had David, David on my David. List. We can't have the same. You I can go with David. Okay. Understandable. Yeah, the, the Canadians. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the Canadians. Yeah. And I'll take. Oh, yes. Hopefully, Jonathan Day one day. Also, if you're listening. So I got Italian league. Um, but you have it in, in, in alphabetical order. You have the Portuguese league. But do you Portuguese. want? Do you want Serie? A? You take Serie. A, then you take Serie. Got you. Take the Italian league. Um, I think a lot of us are gonna agree with this one as well. But let's see right. what Bobby has. What Italian league. Yep. Another striker who we were linked with before. Yeah. La Tudo, how do you pronounce it? You, you, Lautaro? Lautaro Martinez. Lautaro Martinez. Martinez. Yeah. Lautaro Martinez. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> They're better than you. <laughs> yeah, Lautaro. He's man. not actually Italian, remember. He's, he was actually poor. He's, he's, what's he? Um, he's Argentinian. He's, uh, Argentinian. Yeah, Argentinian. Yeah. Yeah. He did yeah. plays in Italy. Yeah. Be brilliant. Be brilliant. <laughs> Will I go to Italy? Um, James. Miz. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Spanish. <laughs> He's brilliant. Oh, yeah, he is. He'd be perfect for Arsenal. Yeah. He was, uh, it was great when Arsenal were in for him, but obviously he didn't want to come. Um, again, I'm probably being unrealistic because without Champions League football, you're not going to get a player yeah, like that, yeah. but he would be perfect for Arsenal. The other player I've got down is another probably <laughs> unrealistic player, but I put him down because I love him. Federico Chiesa. What a baller he yeah, is, he's man. A baller. I know he's been injured, yeah. he's the injuries and stuff like that. It, yeah. Like, you got a player like that. It, uh, to me, I'm surprised that none of the... Well, I guess because of Juventus now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But as a winger... He's destined for big things. Brilliant player, absolutely mm. brilliant. He's I very like old him. school, isn't he? He's so direct. Yeah. Direct. Just I, commits you. My like. type of player. I yeah. like players that just kick the ball up, direct. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That cause problems to defences, and mm -hmm. that's what he does. And he's got end products as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Those are my two. I guess. I'll take either. Yeah, I hear they're probably a bit unrealistic. But again, if we're operating like how we should be, yeah, well, those shouldn't be unrealistic. Yeah, fair. All three of mine are pretty unrealistic, but <laughs> we'll go with it. First one, actually, two are from AC Milan. Uh, Rafa Leal. I got him on my list. Mm. <sighs> I love him. Yeah. He's like, he's he great, great on the ball, powerful. You know, not just fast, but powerful runner. Um, and he kind of played out wide, didn't he? Because they had Ibrahimovic and Giroud, but just he can play across the front three. I think he's destined to be a striker. Yeah, love him. Don't he's not much more. Well. It's he's very in, technical. In, his, in, his, in the in the final third, yeah. decision making. This Quality. season, he's really kicked on. Quality, like really excited. Well, actually, of all the players on these lists that we're mentioning, he's one of my top players that I'd want at Arsenal. Um, Teo Hernandez, or Theo yeah. Teo Hernandez. Yeah. Um, was he at, I, I think he was at Real Madrid. Might have been even Atletico, but he was definitely at Real Madrid at some point. Can't remember if there was loans or whatever. He's obviously, he's ended up at AC Milan. Um, left back, I think he could play centre back. That might be his brother. I think he can. But just a really exciting, again, very powerful dribbler, good on the ball, modern day fullback. Like him a lot. And then, if we're really addressing what Arsenal need in midfield, Barella from Inter Milan, box mm. to box. Good on the ball. I wanted him before mm. he went into. Yeah. Inter. yeah. Where, where did he go from? It oh my God! Where I did he go? I watched him against. Let me have a little look. But I remember I wanted him before he went to. to yeah, he's kicked on nicely yeah. as well. Still think that Locatelli would have been a great signing for us yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we were in for him last year. Again, another player that decided that no. You're um, spot on, Cagliari. Yeah, I but um, Locatelli, 
mm. would have been good. I'm realistic now, I guess, but would have been good for us all. There's some good talents slowly coming out of Italy. That Gleason well. Bremer, who's a friend of the, mine who I, he's back. an agent, it's one of his clients, he said centre back, very similar to Gabriel, though, so, but, yeah. you know, made sort of centre back looks like he's made for the Premier League. Um, he would have been good. There's okay. few options. Um, yeah. Leal was definitely one of them. Yeah. Of Skamaka? Who we've been linked I with? I don't know much about him. Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's... The highlight reel yeah. looks good. I'm not going to lie. The finisher looks goals, good. You know I mean? it's... He didn't impress me against England. Where is he? Yeah, yeah. Sassuolo. Sassuolo, yeah. big guy, you know what I mean? Sort of traditional yeah. number nine. He's fairly quick in it as well. So, I'm you know, sure. I'll decent be honest, enough pace. Too much of him. Um, but I haven't seen enough of him. But we've been linked with him. I'm surprised we haven't said Austin. Awesome yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's my that's my one. That's my that was my one. Yeah. Yeah. That's all awesome awesome you want to see. Yeah. I was yeah. trying to keep it. looking down, yeah. thinking like, what? <laughs> right, so there's, there's awesome men, right? But again, because you guys said realistic, I said awesome men. Is he not realistic? hundred million. Okay, man. Well, I get that. Man. And Napoli, yeah, you see, the thing is about Napoli, they're not the type of team that are gonna like break off of that either. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and then there's Curly Barley still there. You know what yeah, I mean, Curly Barley can get from thirty odd million on my list as well. He's thirty. Yeah, thirty, turning thirty. But I think. a DM though, so, not sorry, not DM. Centre like, back, back so solid though. Um, yeah, so we still with me. solid. But you know what? I feel sorry for players like that because I just think that you've been at Napoli, man. You, mm. He should have been in the Premier League a few years ago. Do you think he was just priced yeah. out of priced it? Priced out. And it's that's one of those where he's valued 100%. at 90 million. Yeah, yeah. The priced bid never out, comes. And that's exactly just... what's happening with Osimhen. Although I don't blame Napoli. They paid a lot of money for Osimhen. Mm. You know what I mean? They're the ones that were brave enough to pick him up from Lille, paid nearly 70 million for him, and he's done the business. Yeah. I mean, a brilliant signing. So mm. if somebody wants him, they paid a lot of money for him. You've got to come and pay him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember I United were so, the ones that missed out on Koulibaly, spending 80 on Maguire instead exactly, of 80 on Koulibaly. Exactly, but I, I do think Osimhen is kind of unrealistic at this moment in time. Um, Marcelo? Li, well, I said Leo. Say, on, in terms of midfielder, Savage. Milinkovic Savage, yeah. yeah. You're right. And he's available. Yeah. One year left. Goals He'd have to cough up a fee. Goals assists on midfield. Do you know yeah, yeah. him? A good I, player. I can't claim to have been watching him much, but... Good. He, I've, he's got the Awar effect on me where it kind of he was wanted by a lot of teams a couple of years always ago. Always been priced out. Mm. And now it's just kind of like gone a bit quiet. No, but you know what he is? He's always been priced out. And now he's got a bit older, isn't he? See, yeah. this is the thing. He's kind of lose interest in time. He's 27, 27 right now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, listen, I'm sure he's a team, good player. Yeah, and then they're still asking for a very high fee for him, even though he's only got one year left. So, yeah. right. Well, Newcastle and Marcelo talk, Bro- so. Brozovic. Did yeah, the, um, one box, year left on yeah, his contract. No, yeah, not he's looking on a bit now. Bro. Yeah, but mm. experience you keep talking about is what well, we no, need. My no, but I mean, no, I mean, when I say experience, I'll be more like a Milinkovic Savage. That 27, yeah. still got, yeah, in his prime, mm. coming in, can do a job. Bro, you know what I mean? Brovich can do, uh, I think he can do, do a job now. Yeah, right. Savage is a better option. If we're looking at realistic, I'd have said more that. Okay, we've got to think of a name. Do you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. I might go with you with Turkish and the Milinkovic Savage, right? Because I think the two that I mentioned before, they're, they're not doable. Yeah. They're just players that I love, but yeah, I think that's doable. So yeah, I'll go with Milinkovic Savage. I'd push Leal. I'd push Leal, but I'm not unhappy. No chance of getting you Leal. Really? AC Milan, they just won the league. They're in the Champions League. They're not selling him. His next step might be a bigger club as well. Yeah. Break my heart. I know, yeah, it breaks my heart to say it, but it's <laughs> become the norm <laughs> now. Like, I can't, I can't hide from it anymore. Yeah. Um, Savage for me, yeah, yeah, I, I'd go with that. I'd go with that. I don't, I don't know. I'll back you guys on that. Yeah, right. I'm not. You're Italian. It should, be, should I mean, it's been reeling us off a list. Hmm. <laughs> no, Mind you, Italian football's dead at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do tend to. Because <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. Because I've been qualified. Yeah, yeah. 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 of Chiellini right now. With the, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I tend to follow the Milan clubs more, um, just because my cousins are there. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. But yeah. Uh, uh, listen, it's another one for the comment section. I think. Because Savage gets two votes by Osman, Liao. Well, awesome. listen, if Osman was realistic, he'd be Osman. Yeah. Is he? Is he? Re- is he really? They really ask for hundred million? Is that much? Hundred million looks like it. Bloody hell! I think every club when they see Arsenal or Linkton, they just go hundred million. Want hundred million? No, but look, no, he's, linked, he's, linked, he's linked with a lot of clubs. Yeah, he's linked with Chelsea and all the Even in hundred million, small link. Nah, you know what it is? It's the strikers' market. 
the guaranteed replacements are so few and far between that when you've got an Osman, you've got a Nunez, you're going, if you want him, you know, it, it's not just the price of getting the They're player what he's worth. It's what are the chances we even get someone yeah, else, yeah, yeah. you know? And plus, as I said, they paid a lot of money for him. Yeah. So yeah. they're not going to let him go for peanuts, no chance. Yeah. Right. Napoli always drive a hard bargain anyway. Cool. Should we leave that to the comments? Or oh, yeah. Leave it to the the comments. It's down to you guys. So let oh, us know yeah. who won the one player from Syria that, you know, Arsenal should sign. Let's go to the Premiera Liga and it's over to you. Oh, do I kick this off? The expert. Here we go. The Portuguese <laughs> League. You kick it off, James. What, what do you know what I'm excited about doing this? Because at the time of recording, and my phone's been going off because I got alerts from certain, like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, Fabio Vieira. Fa yeah, Fabio Vieira. And you. Vieira! Turkish <laughs> <laughs> is going to lose his head when he hits that at the, the Emirates. Emirates. Yeah. Oh, wow. He comes from Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> he plays for Arsenal. And then Paddy hey, Hughes for Arsenal. <laughs> and Paddy Hughes with the three points at the end. <laughs> Imagine first game of the season. Yeah. Oh my God. What is that? What is going on with this? <laughs> Honestly. It's done, man. It's just, the song is already there. What is happening? Oh, man. What Don't is this? Man, no ruin Honestly, next thing we'll get time, Rico please. Henry from Brentford. We'll have Henri on the back going <laughs> oh, around. I, I promise he was on my list before we did this show. And honestly, half an hour before we came to do it, the news breaking everywhere that no, Fabio Vieira is in advance so. talks about time for Arsenal. He's very Bernardo Silvery in terms of his... He's actually comparable to Odegaard in some ways. Very silky left foot. Kind of looks lightweight, but I wouldn't say low central gravity. Good on the ball, just can you know evade challenges. He's creative. He can score goals. I don't think that's his main thing. Um, I, yeah, I'm really excited about this deal. The only thing is, it contradicts my point about Basuma. And we were arguing, Robbie, is this money on a position where we've got an Odegaard, and I don't mind adding creativity. That's what I want. I want creativity, out, creativity and output in midfield, but in a different mould. Someone who's a bit more. Maybe a bit more powerful, a bit more direct, a bit more, can play a bit deeper maybe. So I'm interested to see what Arteta does with him. The other names were Mateus Nunes. I know other people in, like, were going to mention him. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, sorry, just quickly to cut, you yeah. did a cheat code though. I know you did, um, you did Nuno Mendes, he's at PSG, but he's also at Sporting CP. So that was my, that was gonna be my little cheat code to be like, well, he's on loan from this club. So yeah, but that's one of those India. loan with an obligation to buy, oh. you know what they do. Um, Nunes is a shot though. The yeah, other guy, the yeah, he's quite, I'll let you guys speak on him more, but the other guy I really like is, it's a shame he's just confirmed his move from Man City. But it's Pedro Porro, the Sporting Lisbon right back. He's just, yeah, again, modern fullback, gets forward, very good on the ball, very technical. And I think he's been there for two years on loan and they've confirmed the deal permanently. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing for a top club in Europe in the coming years. I like him a lot. Um, I don't, I don't know about. Listen, I don't know much about the Portuguese league, even though there's been some gems that have come up. I will, I will put my hands up. Say a lot of this is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> football manager, mm. what dipping into European football and all that every now and again. But modern but he day, looks very impressive. Modern day Sky, and a lot of it is along the lines of the same shit that you're mm. talking about. Mm. So you know, it is what it is. Nunes, good shot. Vettini has been linked to United to us mm. recently. I guess it sounds like a good Octavio. shout. Mid middle. So, Octavio. So got, got some good players at Porto. Mm. Um, Sorry, there's one at Sporting. Well. I forgot his. Go on. What was his surname? Pedro something. Left Pedro wing. Goncalves. Yeah. yeah. The season <laughs> before last, he had a breakout season, I remember. He came from Wolves. So I don't know what he's done. And went to Sport. He's a good player. Mm. Yeah, last season, I don't know much of what he's done, but the season before, he had a 20 goal season. He plays oh, wow. on the left, and that's a position that. Across the front three, 10, right wing and left wing. If there's one area that I'm going to say we need to strengthen, it's going to be left wing first. Sure. Um, because Emil can come behind Odegaard and that's our backup for 10. Mm -hmm. And then I guess with Saka, we've got Pepe. But do we have Pepe? We'll see. Um, <laughs> but Pedro for me, I'll call him Pedro. What's his name? Pedro? I think it's Goncalves. I think Goncalves. That's uh, yeah. Goncalves. I've got um, to Remy from Porto. I don't want to say his first name. I don't want to say his first name. It's like Medhi. Medhi. Medhi uh, to Remy from Porto. I've watched him again in the Champions League. I remember him scoring against Liverpool, actually, granted they, they did lose 5-1 in that game, but good striker, got 20 goals as well this season. Um, I mean, striker's a bit He's old. a bit of a target man, yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit of a kind of like he's lump it in the box. Brute, yeah. I don't know if that's fair, I, I don't know if that's fair. Well, no, you're right, James, you are right. He strikes me as that. A target man, but also scores goals. I mean, 20 goals this season still for me, it's good as well. Um, I, enjoy, I enjoy that. I think he's someone should be looking at, and you spoke about Nunes as well. Um, yeah. Nunes is good. Yeah, he is good. You know, Who do you want, box, Robbie? Box powerful, good on the ball mm. and quick. Who do I want? 
Vieira. Vieira. He comes from Portugal. Don't get the fan started already, bro. Don't get them started already. I beg. I beg. I'll go with Vieira. Of course you will. Of course you will. Of course you will. Of course you will. So who are you going with out of the three? Who are you going with? Uh, I probably really? would have legitimately gone Fabio Vieira, but as that's looking on, uh, Nunes. Yes. Well, he, he's gone Vieira, you've gone Vieira. Oh, I, was, I thought you went Luke. I was. Uh, yeah. some, some, listen, let me not get rude about this, but who the hell knows what's going on with Arsenal? Just because some guy on Twitter has decided to say we're linked to Vieira I now. Think, I think Romano yeah. has now come out. Who's hey, like Romano, the, the, the same guy saying hey, Vlahovic is a done Arsenal deal in January Vieira. and this and that. Let's get Romano out of here as well. What are we saying, Nunes? Yeah, we might as well. No, they got two Vieiras, so... I got Vieira. But then Are you we... sticking with Vieira, James? Come on. Over uh, a centre mid. Good if I, if good, I, no, if, I, if, I, box, if I, I had the choice to pick one, it'd be Nunes. Thank you. Because that makes, it makes no, me Nunes more is sense. on three of our lists, so. Yeah. 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 Right, I'm cool. very excited about Vieira, though. No, <laughs> He's going to be there. See, look at you two grinning. V- no, stop it. Make sure you two do the welcome vid for that one. Yeah? <laughs> How about that? Make sure you lot welcome him. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> I get shirts with the name on the back as well. Um, so, so we're going to chase him because he's called Vieira. No, no, it's not even that. But listen, we're, we're about to see the real Vieira on the first day of the season. Yeah, Ooh. so all the fans that might start singing Vieira and all this, yeah, let's hope Paddy don't walk away with three points. It's <laughs> true. All right, so Matthias, the Vieira Ma- derby. Ma- Matthias Nunes <laughs> is God. our selection um, for the Portuguese, the Premier Liga. That is the five leagues that we've decided to choose from. Uh, we had some missing. Let me just run through them quickly. So let me just remind everyone who is watching. So Nabri for Bundesliga, we went with. Um, we're letting the comments decide the Liga. So it's down to you guys as well to decide that one. Um, we've got Jonathan David for Ligue 1. Um, the Premier Liga, we went with Mafias Nunes and then Syria. Where do we end up with Syria? We said we'd leave that to the yeah, comments. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't leave a lot to the comments. Yeah. Very, yeah, indecisive. very, very indecisive. indecisive. Jeez. Imagine right. us running Arsenal. <laughs> we'll be in a better place. <laughs> He said it'll be the same. He said it'll be in a lot better position, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Arsenal, there it is. Right, well, anyway, that's it for this video. Hey, hold on, wait. You forgot you said the big leagues. What about the Turkish thing? <laughs> <laughs> Check this guy out. <laughs> Check this guy out. So I don't watch that one, but unfortunately, I don't watch that what one. What are we so. doing in the Turkish League? Nah, nah. nah we, we've had some legends in that league, you know. We've had some legends in that league. We've had Ozu in that league. We've had Anelka in that league. We've had Van Persie in that league. We've had... Ozu What's happening now? For Germany. What? Germany came from Ozu. Yeah, but he's a top player, isn't he? Yeah, I know, but he weren't, in the, he, he weren't in the Turkish League till now. Yeah, yeah till now. On the yeah. slide he went there. Do you think he's going to go Jamaican League? Let's see if he goes Jamaican, Jamaican League. Jamaican League. <laughs> <laughs> You can play for too many guns. <laughs> you know I, mean? I prefer not to speak. <laughs> but yeah, he's alright with the Italian league. Yeah, so you're alright. All right. Well, listen, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you head over to um, shop.aftv.co.uk to get your merch. You see some of us wearing it in this video. Um, there's a discount code up until Father's Day. It's Guna20 to get 20% off all orders. So make sure you go check it out. And also on the 26th of June. There'll be the Claude Cup, okay? We'll be doing a nice tournament for some YouTube teams to raise money for um, the Claude Foundation. You can get tickets to come as well. It'll all be donated to the Claude Foundation. Make sure you check that out. It'll be coming your way very soon. And hey, we had JJ Okocha in our league oh, as well. Look at I have some respect look at for video, our league, man. What's going on? What's going on? We had Haji in our league. I have some respect for the Turkish league. Nah, we're doing Turkish league. We're doing Turkish league. We'll see you next time on the next draft video. Peace. That's that episode. Look at you guys. 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 Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.